Hello. Um, in this one, I'm going to talk about my favourite subject by far, which is out of body experiences. Now, what got me into doing all this in the first place was I had an out of body experience. Um, before then, I just played computer games and went out in town and got drunk and messed around with my car and you know the, the typical typical man thing on I'm, I'm afraid um, playing games until one o'clock in the morning went to bed next thing I know I'm standing at the top of the stairs with an entity in my ear saying that I need to go to the light with them they've got something to show me I ended up having an argument with them because I wanted to go to bed and I got work in the morning and blah blah and I ended up going into my room and see myself laying there in bed already asleep I woke up vibrations and the symptoms of having an out of body experience and from then I was very intrigued and wanted to know more I wanted to do it again I wanted to know what was happening <coughs> that led me to meditation and then I went on to doing what I'm doing now at the end of the well not the end of the road but down the road so uh, out of body experience is when you have an experience outside of your body basically very near to an NDE which is a near death experience that happens when you die you uh, go through the motions what happens when you die you go into the light you meet your family blah blah, blah. everybody kind of reports the same kind of thing happening and then um, you get revived or you watch people working on you and then you get revived which had a experience so and, and an OBE is the same but without your body dying now this also as one of the symptoms covers sleep paralysis a sleep paralysis is actually an out of body experience you're not in your body to be able to control your body so you try and control your body you think you're paralyzed but you're not in your body you're in the, the next astral level up the astral physical mirror so there's and there's um, two different types of out of body experience you've got the involuntary which is when it just happens that's what I have most of it just happens um, and voluntary which is when you train for it now I've come very close into instigating it myself um, but they almost always happen after I've, after I've fallen asleep um, which is one of the techniques for doing it that way is to just think about yourself being out of your body or a location, imagine location like sitting in a car or at the top of stairs or something you just think about that and think about that and think about that and saying to yourself I will have an out of body experience over and over and over and then it just happens um, symptoms of having an out of body experience um, you could have um, loud buzzing loud banging sounds um, like, like a kind of the pitch gets higher and higher um, you then get vibrations you'll feel like um, the earth is shaking or the bed is shaking nothing's moving nothing's happening nothing's falling off the walls it's like being an earthquake but it's just all in your body it's just your body vibrating it's just a, and that will increase up and up and up and up then you'll start to feel numb or heavy you'll lose feeling of being your body you're coming out of it you're moving from your physical body into your one of your astral bodies your very first astral body because you've got different bodies for depending on what dimension you're in what vibration you're in um, and then feeling of floating falling you'll fall through your bed or you'll fall out you'll roll over and roll out or you'll just think of being by the door and then you're suddenly at your door or you'll float off into the sky because you're thinking about floating or something like that and then separation's complete so those are the, the four main stages between the two between the two between being in your physical body and being in your astral body um, if you want to stop just think about being in your body all you need to do is think about being in your body just relax or the vibrations all just go away and then you'll be back in it's like sleep paralysis sleep paralysis is the, the numbness stage 
an on, a numbness, because you, you're not in your body no more, you can't feel it. You're not, you're already having an out-body experience at that stage. It's not some kind of random mental state like people think it is, or some kind of mental condition. It's probably more natural than any kind of condition that they can they can think of. Um, now, I, I, love, I love doing it, basically, at the end of the day. Um, now, if you are experiencing these kind of things, I would say go for it explore you can't die your body your body just goes an automatic pilot you don't think of yourself breathing you don't think to yourself blink you don't think to yourself you know oh, i've got a my grams have got a, grams have got a secrete but different um chemicals otherwise i'm going to die you don't do that you just your body just goes on autopilot you can it's like you can you can pass over to the other side and your body will just when it when it comes to your end of your life, your body will keep going until it's ready to die. You're not even in there anymore. You're already having your NDE. You're already having a, a near death experience, and then it, you can go one of your rage and get revived, or your, your body will just cease. So don't worry about any of that. Fear really is in your own mind when it comes to everything spiritual. Fear will hold you back more than more than anything, more than other people telling you you can't do stuff. You can do whatever you want to do. There's, there's no limits to what you can do. Um, so once that happens, you can wander around the astral physical mirror. Um, you, you'll see stuff in that in that dimension. You see stuff exactly as is in the physical. That's the actual dimension you're in. That's what the ghosts see, or spirits and entities and all that. Like they're all there. If you choose to see them, you'll see them. If you choose not to see them, you won't see them. Um, so you can go exploring, you can go into the bottom of the ocean or to the moon or to Saturn or different different, you know, galaxies. Um, you see what your next door neighbour's house is like, going to random bases in Russia or Area 51 or do whatever you want to do. There's nothing that can stop you, there's no way that they, they I mean the the TMI, the, the Monroe Institute, which is what I found after having my having my um, near death experience who experimented with all this stuff, that actually did um stuff of the US military and going into these Russian bases and describing the bases and, and things like that. It's all it's all there. You can you can do whatever you want to do. You can um go into other dimensions, you can just feel think upper level and you'll go into the next dimension, you'll go into the next dimension, you can you can go into the belief system territories, you can go to the park where we go when we when we if we go into the light, you'll go up the dimensions and get go to the park. If you don't go into one of the belief system territories because you vibrate that way. If you don't get dragged into one of those on the way up, you'll go into the park. Um, so you can see where you go when um, when you pass over, you can see all your family, you can visit friends, you can go up, you can keep going up as long as your vibration suits you, don't vibra you, you vibrate high enough to go into those dimensions because otherwise it can it can um, do you some damage and they'll, and they'll kick you out. You can visit your guides, you can, you can do it up, you know, you, your mind's your limit. Um, so yeah, you can anything you like. There's no need to be scared. Like I say, I've I've done this many many times. I've um, been recently drawing like storyboard kind of diagrams, like drawings of stuff that I've done in there. Um, <laughs> too many for me to draw, to be honest. Most of them are for training um, purposes, like. Um, there's a there's a difference between uh, near death ex uh, sorry near death experience and OVE and just dreaming um, and even lucid dreaming. There's they they'll do a lot of when you when you think about doing this stuff before you can do it. They'll test you in your dreams to check your integrity. All sorts of different scenarios. For example, I'd have a dream where money will come out the cash machine. Do I keep it? You know, oh, and I can I can remember it plain as day. Oh, I could really I could really do with fifty pounds. Uh, what should I do? Should I should I end it in? Should I keep? Oh, well, I've got enough money. I'll 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 go I'll go and check the C. I'll go and ask them to check the CCTV. See if they can find out where it's come from. And then you just wake up. Is they're testing your integrity? Um, a company has refunded me a hundred pounds. Um, too many times. 
they refunded me a, a product that I brought and sent back 100 and then they give me back another 100 by mistake. What do I do? Do I keep it? Do I send it back to them? And I'm in and ah and I'm in and ah and um, well I don't need the money, neither do they, but that doesn't mean I should keep it. I'll give it away to charity and then wake up. It's just stuff like that. That's just, they, they are testing your integrity, your soul. They're, they're, in test, they're, they're testing to see, you know, that you remain strong in your beliefs. And only only when you've, you've kind of passed all these, then they'll think, right, is, is worthy. Because they don't want you to come out of your body and then go and check in lottery numbers or, you know, do, doing all this random stuff like going into girls' locker rooms and, 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 and that kind of stuff. They they need someone that's pure of heart if they're gonna if they're gonna let you let you into the, the domain kind of thing. Um, so yeah, um, and then depending on what you want to do, because I've had them where I'm fighting entities, um, I'll be looking through a, a dusty old hospital and I'm ghost hunting and I'm pulling back the curtains and pulling back the curtains, and then I heard someone say oh, I've found one, so then I'll go running down. And then I'll get pinned to the wall and dragged up the wall, and then I'm on the ceiling, and um, I'm thinking, oh, there's something, there's something around here, and then I'll just imagine them and send them up, and stuff like that. That's um, then you get onto the the training side of if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff, like I want to do, in, I I go into the belief systems and and rescue entities out of there, um, and I've, these are some of the, the drawings I've done on. I'll, I'll put them up actually on the page after I've posted this so you can see what I've kind of experienced what I've done in the belief system um, there's, there's, again there's many different belief systems you can go into um, like um, land of no love um, all kinds of stuff you know like where all the, 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 the believers in um, Satan go and where all the believers in, in um, all the Christians go and all the um, Buddhist go and you know all the all you got all the different like Hindi and all the all the belief systems they're all there you can go in there you can see them all and they're trapped so they all need help so that's what I do I kind of when when I, I'll get to, I'll get taken into a room and there'll be a vortex on the floor and I've got to take the vortex out and there'll be entities in there I'll clean the entities out and then I'll just wake up all all vibrations and you, you know you've done it or I've been um, one of them again. This is one of the drawings that I've done. I'll be. I was just flying, and then I was attacked by entities, and I landed and I put my armor up, and then I was attacked by more entities, and then once they were gone, I woke up, and then there's a message from some guy on Facebook who's complaining that I'm being too too nice to people or whatever, and he's going to send his demons to come and get me. I'm just like, well, I'll just kick their ass. I'm sorry, fella. You know. So it's um. You can you can basically do whatever you want to do. Um, I kind of tend to use it to be as helpful as I can because these things these people are trapped. They need help, and the, and the, and the more people that can help, the, the better basically. So, but yeah, if if you are experiencing these kind of things, don't be afraid. Um, it's all natural. You're going to experience. Every single person is going to have an out of body experience, whether they like it or not. Um, it's better to be prepared for it because it's nothing to be scared. You just, as soon as you um, go over, you just think of your higher self, or think of being in the highest dimension, or us, see you guys. Um, and, and you can come back with some amazing things that can change you, change your life absolutely, completely. You won't worry about money or anything like this no more, because it all means nothing at the end of the day. So, yeah, I'll, um, I'll say goodbye now. I've said my bit. I can talk about this kind of stuff for hours. Like I say, it's my favourite subject, so I'll... Um, Put me drawings up of there's a fair few um they're in no they're in no particular order i'll just keep them like a storyboard kind of thing and then i'll just move on to the next one um uh, maybe i'll get time to draw some more up who knows so i'll um say goodbye